What is going on, Lunatics? We are talking Luna Classic today. We're going to check out what is going on. I told you so. I told you that we're going to pump. I told you that we were going to have this sort of rebound, if you will, and it played out almost to perfection. We we picked exactly where it was going to be, if you remember yesterday, uh, volume nodes and all of that stuff. And now that we're here, we'll talk about where we're going to go next, like right after this. So um, buckle in because it's going to get interesting. Uh, if you like this content, by the way, make sure you hit that like button because that's how it trends across the YouTube ecosystem. So first, there's a couple different conversations to be held here. I'm not going to read these articles for you or to you here, but they're talking about uh, key proposals and about uh, rebounding. Uh, Lunk jumps 20% as Terra Luna Classic community votes to launch an independent website. Well, that's not really genuine because that's giving you the idea that the website is the reason for the pump. It's not. Uh, as a matter of fact, the pump, the 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 website is not going to be approved. Um, David, it, it, there's there's a little bit of arguing about um, with only one person, by the way. So uh, there's a little bit of arguing about it, and and Jesus, of course, voted no because you know you know. So you know a few things to work out, and maybe provide some clarity on the website stuff like that. Maybe then it, it can happen. But you know, look, of the top 100. Cryptos, top 200 cryptos, I'm sorry. Of the top 200 cryptos, there's only one that doesn't have a website, and that is Terra Luna Classic. So uh, these disingenuine sort of guys out here, they can tell you whatever they want, but you need to have a website. And you know, the question is who's going to run it, who's going to maintain it, and you have to answer those questions. But at this point, there's only one person stepping up. So uh, rather than try to figure out why to vote no, maybe we should all uh, put on our big boy pants and find a way to vote yes. Maybe there's something about uh, his proposal that doesn't resonate, doesn't make sense. So I would encourage you to go to Commonwealth and have this discussion uh, with David about what needs to be done here. Uh, in fact, there is an argument going on here with, with almost a single entity. This is a no for me. Uh, and he's questioning the amount of money uh, and why they uh, reduced it to by removing nice to have features and he wants to know what they are. And, you know, of course, he's questioning, why won't you, David, work for free? Why, why won't you just do this for free? Pump my bag, if you will. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't know. Um, and then, you know, David comes in and he explains everything and goes line by line in detail. Uh, and, and then, of course, because Jerry, who, whomever this person is, has already drawn his line in the sand, of course, everything that, that, that David said. Mm -mm. So now uh, there there's too many hypotheticals involved. How are the community members who will carry out the programming implementation? How will they be paid? What is the proposal work they will be carrying out? Who is the single owner of the hosting? So now this is where it gets interesting. Those are great questions. Those are great questions. So instead of just throwing money at something, have a and, and by the way, this is exactly what all nodes said. I don't like all nodes. Remember, I unstaked with all nodes, but it is important for you to flesh out your ideas so that people understand. If you want people to vote yes and your people are obstinate and difficult, then you have got to have a, a, a way here to to tell people like what you know. Here's the data. Here's the details. Here's the proposed scope of work. But who is it? What is it? How is it working? You know, what are the places so that people can make an informed decision instead of a you know, guess what? This is what I'm going to do. Give me the money. So, and that really is what ended up happening here. So again, I am in support of this, but I do hope that it gets uh, worded a little bit better. And I hope it comes back up for another vote and that whatever feedback there is to make it better gets done. So let's move on. What is going on, guys? You know, when I give it to you, it's important. Cryptonomy.finance just launched their own channel. This is a key financial sector for information every single day about what's going on in cryptocurrency and the broader markets. It's on Telegram and it's cryptonomy underscore community. Go check it out today. You know staking is where it's at. There's panic in the market right now. Fear and greed index is down in the 20s right now. And you should know by this point, it is a time to buy. So my first deposit right now, you guys know I'm bullish on it, API3. I really think API3 does a 100 to 300x in this next bull run. I just staked 4,000 API3. My reward on that, 2,892 API3. I think it's trading around $1.90 right now. So this is a big move for me, I think that this could produce some serious yield. 
Not to be outdone, you guys love Jasmine. I love Jasmine as well. I think it's going to be the biggest thing uh, in blockchain for gaming at some point, maybe even integrated into Sony. 340,000 Jasmine right now. I just staked it for nine months. And my reward on this, 244,516 Jasmine. I'm super excited about this one. I think it's going to be a big banger. But let's face it, the real money is made over here on the launch pool, water coin, water. We talked about it already. It's already up 6x. They took a big profit on this already. Cookie, you remember Cookie trending on Dex Tools, up 5x right now. Potoshi up 3x. Huge yields being rewarded. Cryptopia TOS was also 3x in the last round. Cryptonomy.finance knows what they're doing when it comes to these big launches. Make sure that you're contacting Cryptonomy.finance and if you do, you can use their 24-7 support line as well. Uh, you can convert your collateral into whatever it is that you need because they hold almost every crypto asset that you can possibly think of for staking and rewards. So sign up to Cryptonomy.finance today. Oh, and one more thing. In about a month, Cryptonomy is going to announce its own launch pad. It'll start launching its own. And guess what? You, as a customer and a VIP, VIP user, you're going to get first crack at all of the best projects. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. And let's talk about that price action, son. As you guys remember, there was a couple of nodes here. We had this node right there. We had this node right here. We got this little node kind of right in this range right here for price action. So if if you're looking at it, where do we go? We went to right here to that first node, uh, which was exactly what we were doing right here when we made this little stair step thing the other day. So So what happened? Well, we went to exactly this spot. Now, the question is, do we back test? Do we get uh, another impulse move up into this sort of range here? Maybe just under uh, dropping that zero. And then after dropping that zero, it's going to go into that 10-4 range, 10-5 range. Uh, and we just have to push up into that. And if we do that, then the, the next move up there would be this red line right here at that 11-8 sort of level. So... We're actually doing exactly what I told you guys we're, we're going to do. And it's not because I knew. I just this is the way it logically should be playing out. So um, I, I'm not I, again. I promise you, I'm not doing anything special here other than just paying attention to what the chart is saying. So um, maybe, just maybe, we have that breakout. Now, uh, as far as the rest of this goes, uh, and by the way, fear and greed index is uh, pumping a little bit. Uh, you can see that it's been a little bit higher. Fear and Greed currently clocking in at 58. You can see that right over here on the front of CoinMarketCap. Anytime you want to know, when it gets to this level, you're in neutral. When it gets up here, it's going to be time to sell and stable. Just, just so you guys know, you know, if you're playing the market, you're playing the odds over the years, the number one indicator that you could possibly use is this Fear and Greed Index. If you, if you buy at the 20s and 30s right here and then you just let it run to the 70s even if your crypto doesn't pump super hard even if it doesn't pump super hard uh, and when it gets into about 70 75 level and then you sell and then you stable and then you wait for that fear and greed index to come back down you will win you you, you will win uh, this is one of the the number one indicators uh, of everything. But we're at 58 right now. Uh, if we pump up, you know, another 10, 15%, that's probably going to take, that's probably going to take Luna Classic up into that stratosphere that I'm talking about. So, um, you know, watch out for it. Now back to the USTC chart. Uh, this is a little complicated because we are in the volume node range already. Remember I told you uh, we have to zoom out. We have to get a longer term uh, kind of uh, flow here for the breakout, but I mean, we've already entered that volume node. The only other volume node is there's a little bit at the top at around 2.6 cents right here, and then there's a, a little breakout move here at 3.6 cents. But again, I think the top of this range, the top of this range is going to be about four and a half cents. So, you know, I'm looking for, you know, some kind of breakout into that range because that's going to be the, 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 just the, basically the one sort of volume area around the top of this. So I think there's a breakout coming going to continue but you know that's going to depend on the broader markets broader markets by the way bitcoin great day having a, having a great day so far so um as far as etfs go as far as the, the the charts and stuff like that not so much but etfs are pumping so let's move over here um as you can see from this uh you know i we're looking for the move here on some of these 
uh, meme coins. And you can see Roddy, another big day in the Lunk pairing. Um, Rakeoff up 2%, Whale up 8%, Ply up 8% on the USTC pairing. Uh, you got Elon, you got Terra. Terra up a little bit on the day. As a matter of fact, you might even notice, if you pay attention to it right here, you might notice I no longer have any Terra in my wallet. You might be asking yourself, why not? Well, let me give you the answer. I went to Terraport and I staked all my Terra. So now I'm earning yield and you can see right here, it just calculates as it goes. Uh, now I did this, by the way, on a 14 day, uh, a 14 day stake. And, and look, I'm, I'm not opposed to, um, I'm not opposed to a, a 90 day, 180 day, 365, 540. But as you can see right here, these are all sold out. Like you can't get into the bigger stake level until they create, create more uh, and create more opportunity. But on that 180 days at, at 14, at 24% doesn't seem like it's incentivized. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, because if I'm getting a 16% APR here on a 14 day, then I could, could just kind of flip this and continue to accumulate. And the difference in the percentages is not such that I would, um, be motivated to move into that 24% range. Not at this point, by the way, you know, if I get, uh, another little bit of a yield off of this and I earn, you know, a few hundred more, uh, and then I do it again, I earn a few hundred more and a few hundred more and a few hundred more over the, you know, the, the course of 90 days, you know, you, you would effectively have a much bigger bag, if you will. And if that's the case, then, it, then I would take the 180 day at, at a later point, cause it's a, a higher yield, but it's not so much that I couldn't just kind of hold on and continue to, to, to kind of build. That, that's all I'm saying. Um, and, and I like being able to pull my money out and play with it and move it around uh, sometimes. So uh, we're gonna stake that for a few days. So uh, we're also gonna come over here to the launch pad because we got Rocket over here uh, still doing its thing. We're gonna do that uh, daily login claim right there. Uh, we're not gonna do a swap because we just sold, we just staked our, our Terra and we got most of our lunk staked. So uh, I've got some meme coins but I don't want to rug anybody's chart. I don't want to pull out anybody's chart right now. So I'm going to sit calmly while uh, the, the, the market cooks, if you will. So that's what I'm doing right now. And if you haven't already, certainly go to Terraport Finance. You want to go here and look, you, you, you support Rocket. You should support Rocket because it's a tower defense game. And you love tower defense games. You might not know that you love tower defense games, but I love tower defense games. So you love tower defense games. Tower Defense Game. Come on, uh, Rocket, go check it out on Terraport.finance. Speaking of Terraport.finance, what about TerraCasino.io? Oh, they're not the same? Well, yeah, you're right, but that's not the point. The point is they're both sponsors of the channel. So if you are looking for some risk-based gaming, your Luna Classic, your Luna, Luna, by the way, we're gonna talk about that pretty soon, uh, about what I think you should do with Luna, and you're gonna do your own thing, but I'm gonna tell you what I think would be the right move. Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, USDC, Polygon, USDT, Doge, any one of those. You wanna do some risk-based gaming, you wanna do some PVP poker, you wanna do some uh, blackjack, you wanna do some big baller uh, slot machine, uh, all of these different slot machine games, um, uh, roulette is available to you, and you can just start wagering on crypto trading. It is so, so very simple here. Uh, all you have to do is shoot your shot, play, and see what it is that you might win. And look, let's point this out. Uh, if you log in with the calendar, then there, there's going to be logins, there's going to be level bonuses, uh, there's going to be daily, weekly, monthly bonuses, and then rate back. So there are plenty of opportunities here. If you just go in here and start doing a little bit of, uh, of this gaming, uh, with your Luna Classic or with your Luna or with whatever. Uh, if you just come in here and you do this, then you start earning a little bit more. And, you know, as you're watching right now, you're seeing a, a wild and radical Bitcoin uh, kind of playing out as the market decides what direction are we going to go. Uh, the answer is never up only, but um, long term, we're going up, bruh. So anyway, uh, make, you sure, make sure you check out uh, Terra Casino. Make sure that you check out terraport.finance. Uh, Lunk Burn Tracker shows that we have 533 million burn in the last seven days. Again, not a lot, but we're still waiting for, we're going to get that Terraform Labs burn, and we're going to know uh, at this point. Now, Happy Caddy Crypto, uh, old Buzz kill himself. Ooh, happy. Um, not a whole lot of, of stuff in their wallets that he could track, uh, but I felt like we were having a conversation where there was about 274 billion uh, Luna Classic in one of their wallets. It seems to have escaped 
uh, Happy Caddy spreadsheet, and it could be because that's from the Luna Foundation Guard, so it very well could be that this is something that is going to be part of it, but we're not seeing it in all of the data. So uh, I'm watching for it, and I think that, again, if we get a big burn like that, that would be significant. Let's go check out the price action on CoinMarketCap. And you can see we're up 200% on trading volume for the day and up 16% on market cap. But, you know, it, it, it really it comes down to this right here. Like, let's burn some supply. Let's continue to, to minimize the circulating supply. Let's continue to do all of the, the, the good stuff that would, would make this, you know, uh, start to take off. And, and by the way, this all starts right here with the total supply, not the circulating supply. I, I know we're talking about circulating supply most of the time, but there's a, a certain level of discomfort that people have knowing that a total supply on an abandoned chain that's being resurrected at the CTO, a community takeover, you know, you see this and you see this m huge amount of supply. But what happens if somebody sells those 1.3 trillion tokens? So it's important and I think effective as a marketing strategy if we were to uh, affect the, the total supply in some way. How do we get that down? So that's the question that we probably will need to address at some point very, very soon, in my opinion. Uh, so and we'll be talking about that over the next bunch of days, weeks, and months anyway. Bob, and for as far as this goes, 90 million in a USTC volume, a 22% pump there. And guys, I told you it was going to be a pump, right? So, you know, you got your nice little pump. You got your nice little move <coughs> to the upside. What are you going to do with it? Well, uh, Lunk Dash says, uh, not going to be the website. Uh, everybody seems to be, you know, we've got a few yeses, we got a few noes. If we come over here and we look at who the yeses are, again, same five that voted yes, but we've got Jesus is Lord abusing his position uh, again for uh, for voting no. Not with veto, but, but no. And, uh, you know, again, huge amounts over here. Uh, if he's voting no and you want it to be yes and you're staking with him, you're the problem. So uh, stake with whoever does whatever it is that you want them to do. Uh, as far as who is abstaining, Terrarium and Aura Stake, and no with Veto, Interstellar Lounge, Quantum Notes, Hexagon, Autism Staking, and POS Notes. So um, those are the places, those are the things that are happening right now. So that's it, guys. That's your update. Um, I, I think we're, you know, we're on the cusp of a big move. And of course, nothing goes straight up. It's going to take a little bit of time before everything sort of, uh, sort of rips and, and, and breaks. What we can hope for right now, to give you guys an idea of what it would look like, what, what we could, the best thing we can hope for right now is we have 14 days right now before the next big burn from Binance. A little FOMO buildup, a little bit of positive news continuing, and a little bit of positivity in the market. And then in August, like JP Morgan said, if we get an altcoin season, if we get like a little mini season, then the doors blow off of... of Luna Classic and USTC, at least for a little while. But again, you know, we've got 14 days before we get the next burn. So uh, what we need is momentum. And if we can get some momentum, then be a fantastic thing. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, do you like Luna Classic? Are you a Luna Classic fan? Uh, let me know. And uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.